Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm, <laughs> I'm Colin Jost. A new report shows that Loma Linda, California, is the city most likely to become a blue zone, which is an area where people are healthier and live longer. While the town least likely to become a blue zone is once again breakfast fettuccine, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> In Monday's Iowa caucuses, Ron DeSantis beat out Nikki Haley for second place. Well, that ought to put a uh, whatever this is on his face. <laughs> South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, who looks like someone drew Ving Rhames with their eyes closed, <laughs> endorsed Donald Trump. But remember, most Trump supporters only count him as three-fifths of an endorsement. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> And earlier today, Mike Pence officially ended his presidential campaign. He made the decision after he consulted with God, and God said, Dude, you're embarrassing both of us. A new poll shows President Biden and Donald Trump are tied in a hypothetical 2024 rematch, though they're both running 50 points behind Kill Me. <laughs> The Supreme Court is addressing recent allegations of ethical lapses by adopting a new code of conduct, replacing their old code of conduct, money up front, no kissing on the mouth. <laughs> Senator Tim Scott announced that he is dropping out of the 2024 presidential race. With Scott gone, the most prominent black Republican is once again the blacks for Trump guy. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs> Ron DeSantis' presidential campaign got a major boost after Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds endorsed him, also giving DeSantis a lift, his leather hooker boots. <laughs> the FBI has launched a corruption investigation into New York Mayor Eric Adams by seizing two of his cell phones, one named Work Phone and the other named Shorties and Shady Stuff. <laughs> Ron DeSantis reportedly spent $1.5 million on private jets in just over three months because when he flies commercial, they make him take off his heels in front of everybody. <laughs> Justice Amy Coney Barrett said that she wouldn't mind seeing a code of conduct instituted for the Supreme Court, while Clarence Thomas said that he wouldn't mind seeing what she worked with under that robe. <laughs> John Kerry announced that he is stepping down as the U.S. climate envoy and is expected to focus on President Biden's re-election campaign. And it's not a great sign that Biden's campaign is a bigger emergency than climate change. <laughs> In an interview on Fox News, presidential candidate Nikki Haley said that America has, quote, never been a racist country. Because if Americans were so racist, why did they have sex with their slaves? <laughs> Nikki Haley, <laughs> Nikki Haley received an endorsement from New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu, which would be helpful if anyone knew, knew who that was. <laughs> A new report shows that for the first time, the majority of billionaires last year received their fortunes through family inheritance. And not to brag, but I inherited my family's learning disabilities. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump posted an image of Nikki Haley made up to look like Hillary Clinton. And honestly, I couldn't tell if it was bad Photoshop or a good picture of Mark Cuban in a wig. <laughs> Pope Francis called for a ban on surrogate motherhood, which he says violates the dignity of the woman and the child. Plus, the Catholic Church doesn't want extra kids around while they're trying to quit. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has proposed a new policy permanently banning mask mandates and vaccine requirements, saying, when the world lost its mind, Florida was a refuge of sanity. Then everyone in the crowd took a hit of nitrous and bit a cop. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who always looks like someone told him to go home and get his shine box, <laughs> signed a bill that allows Florida residents to carry concealed guns without a permit. Because Florida is dangerous, and you just never know when someone is going to run up to you and say gay. <laughs> Donald Trump responded to reports that Ron DeSantis, that Ron DeSantis will run against him for the Republican nomination, saying, we'll handle this the way I handle things. So rough and without consent. <laughs> <laughs> Bob 
of the day, it's a good plan, I guess. Donald Trump visited East Palestine, the site of the recent train derailment, because Trump usually tries to make himself look better by standing next to a train wreck. <laughs> The train that derailed was carrying highly toxic vinyl chloride, which I think is something Trump recommended as a cure for COVID. Republican insiders are concerned that the rivalry between Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis could lead to a civil war within the party, which is per perfect because they already have the flags. <laughs> Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who thinks he's Gaston, but girl, but girl you LeFou. Ron DeSantis, I'm shaking. Ron DeSantis said Florida officials would not help extradite Trump back to New York unless, of course, he agrees to take a busload of migrants with him. And while visiting the disaster site, Trump also gave out bottles of Trump brand water, said residents, thanks, but we'd rather drink the toxic train water. <laughs> I just love that Trump is the one who rolled back train safety standards when he was president, and now he's giving the victims bottles of water. What's next? Is he going to visit all the migrant kids he put in cages and give them a gift card to David Busters? <laughs> the Nashville shooting, President Biden once again called on Congress to pass an assault weapons ban. Or, hear me out, stop and frisk for whites. <laughs> How long before these kids earn a stereotype? <laughs> <laughs> Rupert Murdoch this week officially turned on Donald Trump. First, the New York Post ran a cover calling Ron DeSantis Ron De Future, even though Ron De Future sounds more like a drag queen from outer space. <laughs> then on Thursday, the Post showed Donald Trump as an egg sitting on a wall with the headline Trumpty Dumpty, which had to be the easiest Photoshop job in history. Democratic Representative Jamal Bowman and Republican Thomas Massey got into a screaming match on Capitol Hill after Bowman called the GOP gutless cowards for opposing gun control, which is a cheap shot, because if there's one thing Republicans definitely have, it's big old guts. <laughs> and now Trump is threatening to reveal unflattering information about Ron DeSantis. For example, did you know Ron DeSantis is in charge of a state where some maniac was hiding stolen nuclear secrets? <laughs> Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited the site of the train derailment and was criticized for wearing leather dress boots. Oh, but give him a break. That's all they had at Baby Gap. <laughs> Trump has also been promoting a song called Justice for All, which features himself and a choir of men jailed for their roles in the January 6th attack. And I feel bad for the January 6th singers because, you know, jail gets a lot worse once the other prisoners find out you're in an acapella group. <laughs> Wednesday was International Women's Day. I said was, next joke. A new study finds... <laughs> a new study finds that some New York City rats carry the virus that causes COVID, which is why I always order mine well done. Well, guys, we... <laughs> <laughs>